Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe early attempts to arrange the elements into a periodic table. You should then be able to explain why Dmitri Mendeleev's periodic table successfully predicted the properties of elements. And finally, you should be able to describe how the elements are arranged in the modern periodic table. Here's a modern periodic table, and you are given a copy of this in your exam. The periodic table is arranged into columns, which we call groups. So we've got group 1 and group 2. We then have this big block, which we call the transition elements. And then we have groups 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and finally group 0. So why is it called the periodic table? Well, the word periodic means occurring at regular intervals. And in the periodic table, we can see that elements with similar properties occur at regular intervals. So, for example, we can see that group 1 consists of highly reactive metals such as lithium, sodium and potassium. On the other side of the table, group 7 consists of highly reactive non-metals such as fluorine, chlorine and bromine. All of the elements in a group have got similar chemical properties, and that means that they react in a similar way. That's because all of the elements in a group have the same number of electrons in the outer energy level. Coming up, we're going to look at two scientists who made early attempts to arrange the elements into some sort of order. OK, a long time ago, scientists began to see if they could put the elements into some sort of order. The scientist Johann Doberreiner noticed that elements with similar chemical properties often occurred in threes, and he called these triads. A good example is lithium, sodium and potassium. These three metals all react rapidly with water. Doberreiner noticed several other triads, such as chlorine, bromine and iodine. These are all reactive non-metals. So from this, scientists began to wonder whether the elements could be arranged into some sort of logical order. Around 40 years later, the scientist John Newlands noticed something really interesting. He arranged the elements in order of increasing atomic weight. He saw that every eighth element reacts in a similar way. If we count lithium as element 1, then element 8 is sodium. If we now count sodium as element 1, then element 8 is potassium. We can do the same with beryllium, magnesium and calcium. And again, these three elements also react in a similar way to each other. Newlands called this as law of octaves. Now, Newlands' system did have problems. By always sticking to the exact order of atomic weight, sometimes elements were grouped together when they had totally different properties. So that meant that Newlands' law of octaves was not really taken seriously by other scientists. Coming up, we're going to look at the work of the Russian scientist Dmitry Mendeleev. OK, I'm showing you here the scientist Dmitry Mendeleev. Mendeleev developed the first modern periodic table, and you've got to be confident about how he did this. Mendeleev started by arranging all the elements in order of increasing atomic weight. However, he then did two things that no one had done before. Firstly, if he needed to, Mendeleev would switch the order of specific elements so they fitted the patterns of other elements in the same group. Secondly, Mendeleev realised that some elements had not been discovered, so he simply left gaps in his periodic table where he thought an element was missing. Mendeleev was so confident that his table was correct that he actually predicted the properties of the undiscovered elements based on other elements in the same groups. Several years later, these elements were discovered and their properties matched Mendeleev's predictions. Because of that, other scientists now accepted that Mendeleev's table was correct. The modern periodic table is almost exactly the same as Mendeleev's, apart from a couple of important differences which you need to know. Firstly, in the modern periodic table, the elements are arranged in order of atomic number, in other words, the number of protons. When Mendeleev developed his table, protons had not been discovered, so he ordered the elements by atomic weight. The problem with doing this is that elements can appear in the wrong order, due to the presence of isotopes. Secondly, the modern periodic table has group zero, the noble gases. These had not been fully discovered when Mendeleev published his table. OK, so hopefully now you can describe early attempts to arrange the elements into a periodic table. You should then be able to explain why Dmitri Mendeleev's periodic table successfully predicted the properties of elements. And finally, you should be able to describe how the elements are arranged in the modern periodic table. Mm -hmm. 